What's up guys? Day number eight here. It is gonna be my final day today. We got a pretty good snow storm coming in, looking like eight inches into the night and then more overnight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fish half day, most of the day, go for brook trout, pick up, come back to the home base, clean up home base, get it packed up and try to get on the road before dark so I can get home before the snowstorm and put an end to this trip. Moosehead has definitely got my number. It has definitely kicked my butt. Not gonna lie, I did not win this trip yet. But the cool thing is I got a good half day, three quarters of a day for fishing today and it could all change in one flag. Come on, Ruby. That's my hand. Go on. Hey, Norby. Come on, Ruby. Oh, you missed it. Oh, Lord, well, that's going to do it for my Moose Head Lake trip. Pretty much got my butt handed to me this trip. It was so cold, I was farting snowflakes most of it. But I gotta tell you, if you guys ever wanna avoid the game wardens, I'm on one of the most popular ice fishing lakes in the entire state of Maine. Uh, super strict laws, stringent laws, and certain dates, the laws change and everything like that. And I haven't seen a game warden all week. And I'm gonna give you guys a little tip if you're afraid of game wardens or you don't wanna run into game wardens when you're out fishing. Go fish the absolute worst areas of the lake and you'll never see a game warden because they don't even bother because they know you're not going to catch anything anyway. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, guys. I still had a great time. Eight days up here on Moosehead, smashing the fish or, or just scraping a few out here and there. Still is an awesome time. 